Hey guys, Ryan here with Southern Reptiles. I'm actually out here looking for some redfoot hatchlings. These are some of my adult redfoots here. These are some redfoots that I've had since I was a little kid. This is one of my, this is actually my first redfoot I've ever got. My first tortoise I ever got right here. I actually found it in a friend of mine's yard. His dad was a pretty well-known tortoise breeder and uh, I found a hatchling that was ground hatched that got out of the enclosure walking in the grass and he said hey you find it you can keep it so he let me keep it and that was my first tortoise I ever got and then one turned to four and four turned to 20 and so on and so on but anyway so I'm looking for redfoot hatchlings because I think I posted it on my Facebook page a couple days ago here I found we found one red foot hatchling right over here on the sidewalk here. And then about, uh, about four hours later, I found another one tucked into the grass right along the edge of the sidewalk. So that was two. And then last uh, yesterday evening, I was walking through the grass here. I typically pick some of these weeds, some of this Mexican clover. The tortoises love to eat it and I'm picking some weeds and I find a third this little one right here it was buried down in the weeds like this completely covered and I felt it with my hand and pulled it out like that I couldn't believe it it's like literally like finding a needle in a haystack and it's nice and healthy as you can see the plastron is healed up there's a little bit of extra skin there that kind of dries up and falls off and it's doing great it's eating i gave it a good soak for about an hour yesterday and it's it's uh i gotta fix up this enclosure here um this this picket fence at the time was convenient but um when i built it i didn't know they were having babies and slowly but surely little holes have kind of been in you know they've broken through this mesh and the babies now when they hatch or they get out so i gotta fix that up because that's three hatchlings now i found that i've gotten out i'm hoping there's not more even though i mean if i find them i'll be happy but i'm hoping they're not you know uh getting out and i'd like to be able to find them but hey if it happens it happens and i'm sure i'll find them eventually they they usually don't travel far all, all the hatchlings i found were within like 10 feet of the enclosure so um yeah so this little one's doing great nice and healthy eating that that dark kind of color to the shell is usually typical for the uh the ground hatched naturally hatched red foot so that's the beauty of you know breeding tortoises outside here in florida is uh a lot of eggs can hatch naturally which is really really cool so i try to find as many nests as i can but i can't always be out here so um occasionally i miss some nests and the, the eggs hatch themselves it really depends on the ground if the ground is an area that gets say really really flooded or stays really really dry then the eggs won't hatch but if it's just the right temperature the right humidity and they incubate fine and you know nature is cool like that that it, it finds a way um to uh thrive even in difficult conditions and hey they do it in the wild so why not here but uh yeah we've had a lot of rain the last two days so whenever we have big rainstorms i look for some cherry head babies i look for red foot babies florida box turtle babies um, that's usually the time when they'll hatch and they'll often sit in the nest and then when a big rainstorm comes they'll break out of the nest and if you think about it this is a species that can you know they can overheat easily they can dehydrate easily so the best time for them to to move out is when it's raining they can stay hydrated and they can uh they can move at a cool temperature and they don't have to worry about getting cooked by the sun so that's usually when you'll find them so got three this week and i actually had three babies hatch in the incubator last week 
It's got some cool uh, markings on its head there. Never seen anything like that. Interesting. But yeah, nice beautiful color on the legs. Awesome. I love redfoots. I love all species of tortoises, but redfoots, I've said it so many times, redfoots are just my all around favorite. They're just such a great tortoise. So just figured I'd update you. The other two hatchlings I found the other day are doing good. They're eating and hydrated and doing great as well. So um, if you're looking for redfoot hatchlings, these little ones aren't available just yet, but I have some that are a month to a month and a half old. Uh, feel free to visit my website at southernreptiles.net, facebook.com slash southernreptiles, or instagram.com slash these southern reptiles. Alrighty guys, happy Sunday, have a great night, don't forget to watch some football, and take care.